My name is Deontay, D-D-J, and today we're going to be playing every single Road to WrestleMania in SmackDown vs. Raw 2010 in one video. And so for those of you who may have seen my SmackDown vs. Raw 2011 version of this video, you already know the drill at the start of the video. We have all these Road to WrestleManias right here in SVR 2010, and we've got to decide which one we're going to play first. And so let's go ahead and spin that wheel. What is it going to be? John Cena and Triple H, the love story, I think. Play on your own or team up? Well, I'm, I'm going to play single player because I have no friends. My knowledge of the SVR 2010 Road to WrestleMania is not nearly as good as it was for 2011. Just because, as you guys know, SVR 2011 was my favorite. I genuinely don't remember the John Cena Triple H Road to WrestleMania right now. So I'm pretty excited to play this. <laughs> Look at this. The boys are back in town. John Cena will get a shot at champion Chris Jericho. Okay, forgive me if I'm tripping out right now, but does anyone else feel like Michael Cole's voice sounds slightly deeper in this Road to WrestleMania? I guess it's kind of like when you and your boys are around a baddie and you kind of deepen your voice a little bit. Don't lie to me. You know what I'm talking about. It's like you go from talking normally and then a baddie walks in the room and you're like, Hey, uh, I'm, I'm Deontay. Uh, I don't know why you think you deserve a title shot all of a sudden, but it really doesn't matter, Junior. <laughs> oh, that's right. I completely forgot about the SVR 2010 voicemail. It's kind of fitting that the SVR 2011 video ended with Chris Jericho and this one's starting with Chris Jericho. Oh, come on, man. Whose side is that? What a d I think he's through playing around. Uh -huh, he said the line. He said the line. Attitude. Oh, my God. God, I forgot how sick the angle was. But nevertheless, John Cena is World Heavyweight Champion. Oh my goodness me, look at this announced team. Time to play the game? Huh, we're gonna go get played, all right. Uh, yeah. Nah. <laughs> like my oh, I'm doing my job. <laughs> I forgot about that one. I'm doing my job. <laughs> oh God, I feel like I'm on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire right now. I've just, I've, I've got to go with my gut, okay? Is it... Is it answer A or is it answer B? <laughs> what is this? What is this supposed to depict right now? Why does Triple H look so coy? Like, he is literally in the position. If that was 2022, Triple H would have been like, <laughs> so, uh, how's it going, boys? <laughs> I do know Mr. McMahon has a big announcement to make tonight. As chairman of WWE, that could mean quite literally anything. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. As many of you know, we're just starting to pick up speed on the road to WrestleMania. Oh, that's why they call it that. Oh. I want brand warfare. I want the best of Raw and the best of SmackDown. Um, does someone want to tell him that that's basically the Survivor Series gimmick? I want to see SmackDown versus Raw. Ah, uh, uh, he said it. He said it. That's the, that's the name of the game. <laughs> oh, so both of them just come meandering out like, uh, you talking about us? <laughs> <laughs> the first person I eliminate is literally the other guy in this road to WrestleMania. Uh, what was what was that? <laughs> oh, great! I uh, I unlocked uh, the Hardy's entrance and DX's entrance and Miz and Morrison's entrance. That was really worth my time. <laughs> oh, and here we go again with another weirdly poetic Triple H loading screen. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> but instead, he just wants the Raw and SmackDown champions. He never even mentioned ECW. Yeah, but in his defense, why would he? <laughs> we urge you to take a closer look at ECW, and more specifically, us. God, these guys were quite lame. They've came a long way, though. You know, this loading screen actually isn't so poetic. It's just John Cena working out. So I, I can let this one slide. Evidently, the Miz and Morrison's latest episode of The Dirt Sheet. My brother in Christ, is that Matt Stryker on commentary? I would throw you under the bus so fast. You do know that, don't you? Okay, first of all, relax, Matt Stryker. You not, you're not intimidating anyone. We'll gladly meet you in the ring to have a spirited debate. I mean, beat your faces in. <laughs> oh, nice one, Miz. Great job. That was awesome. I literally forgot that they had John Cena and Triple H on an episode of ECW. How random is that? How low were the ratings? Two! <laughs> Too late, Miz. You snooze, you lose. What the hell's wrong with that guy's face in the crowd? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Okay, I literally joked at the start of this video and on the mystery wheel that this was a love story between John Cena and Triple H, but look at how they are holding each Let's other. Let's take a little bit from Seinfeld. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I shipped them myself. You dug me last week to play with you, Cena. <laughs> now, trust me, Kane. It wasn't my option. I didn't want to go to 
But anyway, Kane, uh, I wanted to ask you, what, what are you going to do to me when you get your hands on me? I'm going to make sure the wait was worth it. <laughs> uh, oh my god! Yeah, sorry about this, Chris. I'm just going to get my shit in and then maybe you could get your shit in. I don't know. He had no idea what to do right there. He was like, uh, what? No, no one's, no player has ever done that before. Just go for the pin. Holy sh! Why am my voice cracking so much today? Am I a child? In a three-on-one handicap match. If one of them wins, they automatically face you for the WWE Championship at the Royal Rumble. If you win, you'll select your opponent. Have fun. I I don't understand how I get anything from that. What kind of stupid general manager are you? Vicky, you are already a fraud. You're actually somehow worse than all the bad general managers from the last game combined. Tiffany, Stephanie McMahon, Randy Orton, all of them look amazing compared to this stupid decision, Vicky. You, you honestly got a lot of splated to do. And it's a three-on-one tornado handicap match. I hate Vicky Guerrero. Does someone want to tell me why Jeff Hardy has been down for so long? What is this victory? <sighs> That joke was in bad taste, even for me. <laughs> One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, what? what? Well, to be honest, out of these three, my favorite is Jeff Hardy. So I'm just going to go with Jeff Hardy. Oh, God, I really hope whoever wins the Royal Rumble could spice up this road to WrestleMania. This has not been uh, a banger so far, as Sheamus would say. Oh, God. Okay, wait a minute. Things might have just picked up, JR. Oh, no. I can't get behind this. No, Cody. Well, I still kind of stand by what I say, what I said. Like, we've literally just been playing match after match, beating people. But hopefully the story will spice up now. I genuinely don't remember how this one ends. Should one of you be defeated, that person loses their title and the winner gets it. You know what, Mr. McMahon? I'm willing to respect that idea just because anything is better than Vicky Guerrero booking. Have it your way, Hunter. I want... And I will... <laughs> oh, look at that little sassy hair flick right there. I ship these guys more than ever. Wait a minute. Why is he staring at the camera? The fact that this man never, like, uh, truly got pushed is, is actually quite criminal, especially when he had the blonde hair. Okay, you cannot tell me that that was not racially motivated. Oh, he's gonna win the goozle! Ah, choke slam! I'm done being overlooked on SmackDown! And the crowd goes mild. <laughs> I demand a trade to ECW. Okay, now this road to WrestleMania is finally getting interesting. <laughs> Look at Triple H, that man is conked out right now. He must have just had some talk about it. Randy Orton has earned himself a shot at John Cena's World Heavyweight title in our main event. Ooh, yes, we're going back to my favorite love story. John Cena and Randy Orton. And if you don't know the reference, go back and watch the SVR 2011 video. You'll get it. I think he's through playing around! <laughs> yes, he said it! Look at the way that Jerry is looking at Michael Cole right there. I kind of feel the same way about current day Michael Cole. He's out here mentioning Bullet Club and sh I'm like, yeah, all right. Oh, see, there. this is how I know the rate. Oh! <laughs> What? This is peak Big Show behavior right here. Wait, are we about to get a choice? Ooh, ooh yeah, okay. Punch him in the mouth. Punch him in the mouth. Oh, uh oh, that boy lining up. That boy lining up. That boy lining up for the knockout punch. Oh my god, this is so overkill. You know, like in WWE 13 when you'd have infinite finishes. I was about to say uh, on Raw earlier that they are only doing this to increase ratings for ECW, but I'm actually quite interested now. That belt looks tiny. Oh my god. It's time for ECW to. <laughs> it's time for ACW to take a stand. And show them we're not just as good as them, we're better. Yeah, uh, okay. <laughs> we think Raw and SmackDown are a bunch of wussies anyway. <laughs> wussies. Haven't heard that word since literally 2010. I should try to finish off Edge as soon as possible. Hey, yo, pause. Wait! <laughs> what the hell? You won't be able to compete tonight. <laughs> nice juke, Cena. <laughs> wow, this is really what's happening, huh? We're just gonna beat each other up in the backstage area. Where's wrestlers caught when you need oh, it? Oh, God, not Big Show. Oh, God. It's the scene from SmackDown vs. Raw 2011. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like John Cena's trying to reach out with a screen again. He's doing that fourth wall bull. That's what you get, Cena. Don't try and reach out to me. You think I'm gonna jump in there and help you? No, you're on your own, buddy. Oh, my God. He's desecrating the World Heavyweight Championship. See, this I can't agree with. <laughs> Are they chanting, let's go swagger right now? Hell yeah, ECW. Oh my God, you know what? I take it back. I love ECW. This is the best brand. I hope they win. <laughs> They're still chanting, let's go swagger, and the match was over. Oh man, they see the vision, I'm telling you. <laughs> you know what? I also kind of have to respect that. 
Oh, <laughs> the classic. Oh, didn't see you there, Troll. Oh, and there's another classic trope bringing you in closer. Oh my god. Triple H with a pedigree through the table. Remember, this isn't a tables match. <laughs> what? You hit JR. He was like, this isn't a tables match. What do you mean, JR? This isn't a tables match. It literally is. In the words of JBL, ball game. Big match, John has done it again. Just when you thought this storyline couldn't get any more ridiculous, Cena, Big Show, and Triple H now have to compete for a hype meter. Word to the hype bros, because we don't just get hype, we stay hype. <laughs> the Big Show only got a 50, there's no way I do worse than- I don't want to talk about it. Each of us will be in the ring for three minutes, and we'll see how many times we can hit our finisher. My pedigree. Cena's throwback. Wait, what? Cena's throwback? Isn't it obvious that his finisher is the AA by this point? What are you talking about? Did I mention the ring will be surrounded in flames? Oh my! Yes! Let's go! <laughs> yes! You know what, Triple H, I take back all previous slander. You do that old Dante Inferno gimmick, her little Inferno match? Okay. Oh, Dante Inferno. You know what? I'll take an 11. That's a respectable number right there. So 11 is uh, actually the end of... Uh the greatest wrestling game of all time, so. Oh yeah, okay, of course the Big Show would one-up me by getting 12. F you, man, F you. And I'm the guy your daddy tried to bribe to take you out. What? Just noticed as well, there's a Jack Swagger poster up on the wall. That's how you know this is my locker room. So in the end, it would end up being a false count anywhere Iron Man match triple threat. This feels like a little bit of an overbooked WrestleMania main event, but honestly, this entire road to WrestleMania has been very overbooked. Oh my God, oh my God, Triple H with the Logan ball. Oh my God, they've actually Got the specially made belt. I forgot about that. You know, a bunch of ECW thugs destroyed the actual WWE championship. <laughs> and the crowd goes mild. No one cares, buddy. Let's get off the air. This show sucks. And they all lived happily ever after. What road to WrestleMania will I play next? Please don't be a stinker. Please don't be a stinker. It's HB Shizzle. The monster Kane will be in action. Kane is definitely like a mountain. A big, red, ugly mountain. <laughs> Look at Cole. He's like, really? You had to say that on the air? What the hell's wrong with you, man? Make sure you check out my match tonight. You might learn something from me. What am I going to learn? How to lose every single fight in the UFC? Gosh, what a counter. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, bit of an awkward standoff right here. I'm assuming there's a choice coming up if I remember correct. Oh, there it is. I just, I, I don't want to press it. I'm not really feeling it today. I'm not going to lie, guys. I... I just don't want to do it. I, I'm okay. <laughs> it's just, uh, this is dragging. <laughs> uh, we forgot what spot to do, Vince. Can you remind me? <laughs> so anyway, oh, there he <laughs> The game was like, I'm sick and tired of you, DDJ. Just do the damn thing. Got hotter than a Tijuana tamale. Is that a what? You better pray to your deity of choice, because tonight, I'm going to crush championship dreams. Oh, well, I mean, that was kind of nice. He said, you better pray to your deity of choice. At least he's not narrowing us down to one god. I pray to only one god and one god only. And her name is Becky Lynch. Oh, what the hell is this little joker doing? Oh, great. A steel chair. Nice one, Randy. I'm still gonna win. To be honest, Randy, I really don't care. I'm just pretending like he isn't there. Ignorance is bliss. Oh my god, look at him. <laughs> I think they should both get a personal performance of a little sweet chin music. Nah, uh, I don't know about that, Sean. It costs a lot these days to uh, to even live in this economy. I don't know if we're giving away free performances. Yeah, let me go ahead and tune up that band one more time. Sweet chin music. And look at that, CM Punk actually doing his job. He spent this entire match not helping me out. I did Randy Orton just kick out? You see, that's the kind of kick out you do when you don't really respect the boys. The Undertaker is gonna take you to wrestler's court for that one, Randy. Oh, what's that? You're kicking out at three to protect yourself and protect your character? I don't fucking think so. You and I both know you don't deserve to be competing for the title tonight. Yeah, okay, buddy. What are you gonna do? Come to the ring and hit me with a cowbell? Ah, I spoke too soon. I shouldn't have said the cowbell thing. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I know Sean's in immense pain right now, but the sound effect is bloody hilarious. Okay, I got a quick question for you, uh, John. Who retired Ric Flair at WrestleMania 24? Sean Michaels. Oh, that's right. The Sean Michaels retirement tour. Our way of blowing out the last dying flame. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute, John. There's no such thing as a dying flame. These flames are forever. I had the boys in the back whip up this little send-off. Oh, my God. God, there is no way. Oh my God. He's got the old WWE game from December 20th, 2000. Oh my God. Is that Here Comes the Pain? This is unreal. Which one of the boys whipped this up in the back? Oh my God. 
goodness me. This is incredible. You know what? Oh, look at that. Is that SVR 2009 or 2008? I think that's 2009. Either way, we'll find out. We'll be playing that one next. This is incredible. I don't know which one of the boys in the back opened up Premiere Pro to make this, but I'm impressed. I know I'm cute. I know I'm sexy. Sexy boy. Sexy boy. I might tweet that one out. No context on the, on the timeline. If Twitter's even still alive, by the way, by the time this video comes out. I don't know. It's not looking good right now. <laughs> but I don't think he'll be announcing his retirement anytime soon. Uh, that's kind of awkward, considering he would actually retire in real life a couple months after this game came out. <laughs> what is that? They are literally preying on his downfall. Why has no one made that into a meme? Despite shoddy teaching and poor mentorship. Oh, well, that's got to be... Brian. Kendrick. Ah, that is not who I thought you were describing. <laughs> this is literally the definition of f run and find out. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm going to go with JBL. I don't like him. <laughs> this is literally prime. Here comes the pain right here. I don't know why you guys even care about that game. Honestly, look at the stuff you could do. Oh my God. I'm kidding. Of course, we love here comes the pain. And with the way I'm going, we will be there at some point soon. <laughs> What the hell? I hit that man once in the face and he started bleeding. That was my first attack on him and he's dead. God, Shawn Michaels, I never knew you had that power. You're like Prime Digi. Oh, God, not this little Poindexter again. I said I didn't like his face last time. I've taken a games. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it a book with you, Sean. You haven't really impressed me until you've taken on the most difficult game of them all. WWE 2K20. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this guy. I told you he's an idiot. Well, I want a clean finish to tonight's match. That's why I'm making it a no disqualification matchup. Okay, uh, first of all, I love you, Shane. But second of all, how does that make any sense? I want a clean finish to the match, so I'm going to make it no disqualification. Yeah, great. Nice one. That's really going to uh, promote a clean finish, you stupid idiot. Oh, God. Here comes this chucklehead JBL again. <laughs> I literally can't even hear him. Yo, we're having technical difficulties. Let's just go for the finish. John, I literally cannot hear you cut this promo right now. No one can in the arena. No one cares. I'm still hitting my finisher. Sweet shit music. No way. Are we about to win the match mid-promo? <laughs> Of course. Oh my god. The camera zooms out. It's like, wait, there was an extra part of that match that we just didn't finish. Listen, man, I'm playing four-dimensional chess here. If he wants to come in and distract the match and try and screw me over, I'm just gonna finish before you even... That sounds kind of crazy. What did I just say? What better way to steal this show than by diving off the top of the cage onto JBL. Or, or, now hear me out. We just have a good technical match and we make Bret Hart proud. Wait, isn't this supposed to be the No Way Out pay-per-view? Why is this at a Raw arena? I just noticed. All right, here we go, you little spot monkey, Sean. Oh my God. <laughs> also, it's not letting me skip here, so I'm assuming we're about to have another choice. Can I super kick the doctor? I don't like him. He was flirting with my girl, Eve Torres, and the other oh, one. Oh, look at this. Come on, sweet chin music him. Oh, we're just gonna take the bell. Okay, I guess that's okay too. We'll find out tomorrow on Raw. <laughs> what do you mean, Raw? What do you mean tomorrow? We're at Raw right now. <laughs> Don't put the No Way Out logo like I can't see the Raw logo as well. You know what? I've had enough of this whole WWE thing. I'm going. I'm taking my talents to TNA Impact. <laughs> no, I'm not. $250,000 for anyone that will finish the job and retire HBK for good. Well, now, hang on a second. I'll finish HBK off for good. Wait, what? Hey, yo, sorry, HBK. This ain't nothing personal, man. <laughs> I love a good crime time cameo. Oh, look who it is. My favorite coach. Cody Rhodes and and said I'm here to call off the bounty. All you need to do is agree to fight me at WrestleMania in a retirement match. <laughs> uh, are we actually going to get a choice? Do we actually get a choice to... Oh my god, we actually get a choice. You know, John, I'd love to accept your offer, but I'm feeling kind of on my Rick flesh. I'm never going to retire. For as embarrassing as it gets, I'm, I'm never going to retire. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it always CM Punk that gets the brunt of the attack? This is it. My entire career comes down to this very match. It's an I retire match. Okay, Sean, first of all, why are you talking to me in that sensual voice? It's an I retire match, which means I have to beat JBL to the point where he verbally shouts that he retires. It won't be easy, but better him than me. Okay, okay, okay! <laughs> Later, bitch! <laughs> All right, what is the next Road to WrestleMania going to be? It's going to be Dante Inferno, a.k.a. the custom superstar Road to WrestleMania. Let's get it. This is my Road to WrestleMania. <laughs> Why does that sound like AJ Styles? This is my Road to WrestleMania. Oh, my God. That one's terrifying. That's got to be the one. My Road to WrestleMania. <laughs> That's literally Matt Riddle. Who knew Matt Riddle was in this game? I just don't like him sitting on his high horse. 
He's better suited being the horse's rear end! <laughs> Look at Santino, he's telling me to get in the ring, he's calling me ugly, calling me all these names, and I'm establishing dominance right now. My mama said to make you knocked out. Come in here and fight me. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a guy in the crowd making chicken sounds? All right, buddy, I'll I'll show you. <laughs> Look at this. I'm like the only high-res guy in the entire crowd. I thought they were going to use the rubber glove on Santino's tender butt. You thought what? Oh, look at who it is. Vince, good to meet you. <laughs> the voice does not match the face at all. Honestly, I kind of just want to hit Santino over the head with it. Can I do that? <laughs> okay, yes I can. Oh, look at who I unlocked. This here, what you call domination. It's a combination of skill and concentration. Are they seriously running Randy Orton versus John Cena again? Oh no, this is what I was talking about in the last video. This is the exact scene I remember from being a child. This traumatized me. Because for some goddamn reason, I used to play on like the hardest difficulty and I could never get out of this. It took me so long. Like I was always getting my ass beat by these two little jabronis. Keeping your hot new superstar off TV doesn't sound like a good business decision. Yeah, Tony Khan. Did you hear that? All right, here we go. You know what? I'm all grown up now. I'm 20. 23 years old. I know I could do this this time. I also remember this room being much more gloomy. I don't know if I'm just like remembering as gloomy because it was annoying as a kid, but like this room used to be way dark. Although realistically, this shouldn't even be that hard. I don't know why I had problems with it. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Power bombs through the freaking desk. Oh my God. Oh my God. That might actually kill the CQ. Look at the chest. Vince was about to come back to two dead bodies in his office. My God. Yeah, sorry, Vince. I accidentally murdered your bodyguards. Whoops. <laughs> Why did that sound like a Minecraft zombie? You know when you're like mining deep in a cave, but you can hear like a uh below you? Wow, okay, so Vince was like, if you can win the Royal Rumble, we'll give you the IC tower back and a contract. Okay, say less. I don't even need to riz you up right now, Mickey. I'm kind of a big deal. So I've heard. Let me know when to stop. Yeah, that's it. Keep on spinning. I'll let you know when. I'm getting the feeling you just like watching me do this. <laughs> uh, oh God, she's onto me. Uh. <laughs> What the hell was that noise? <laughs> Did I just do an Adam Cole baby taunt in 2010? Who is gonna be number 30 in the Royal Ro oh, <laughs> How bloody poetic it is. Once again in 2022, Dante Inferno against Kane. Unfortunately, Kane, my flames burn a little brighter than yours. <laughs> As your employer, it's my responsibility to Image. Oh god, this guy's gonna make me into a joke. Everything I was in NXT ruined. Oh, he made me into Dr. Disrespect. I can already see the Twitter timeline saying, why did they repackage him? What's going on? Oh, great, I unlocked Mr. McMahon. Yay. <laughs> As John Cena and Randy Orton will have a rematch from their classic Royal Rumble showdown. How many times can these guys face off? You needed some flashier maneuvers. A new trademark move for tonight. Ooh, wait a second. Is this where I get to create mode finisher is that this part okay i haven't really gone with anything too crazy here you know it's the little leg fake it's the the wrench of the head and then the rising sun impact okay it's as close as i can get to making the inferno overdrive in 2010 this is fucking awesome man they need to bring this mode back we need create a finisher in 2k23 look at this ragtag team right here we've got william regal braun Strowman, and jack swagger amazing Oh, great. One match and I've already got the Inferno Overdrive banned. You know what, Vince? I'm going to be a Defiant Champion because I know you respect that. I'm here my finisher anyway. Here we go. Inferno Overdrive. Yeah, how do you like them apples? Oh, uh, I, I got disqualified. Okay, he was serious. <laughs> oh my God, he's actually furious. Look at his face. His shoulder surgery was a success and he's expected to recover in about two months. Wait, no. It was Jack Swagger that I took out with an injury with the Inferno Overdrive. No. Oh my God. Okay. Okay, before I can even cut a promo, this guy low blows me. Oh, wait, wait a second. What the? What the hell? <laughs> this one just hit an Inferno Overdrive. Okay, Santino. Low key, I kind of respect it. Is this guy really about to count the entire thing slowly? Oh, 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 he can't do it. it you've got to do it, Vince. You've got it. Three, 
<laughs> you know, in reality, this is actually great storytelling. You remember back at the start, this was WrestleMania when the guy in the crowd was like, Pacock, Pacock, Pacock. Well, I became a chicken now. Her I turned into my gimmick and I got it over. How do you like me now? Yeah, that's right. I still won anyway. <laughs> it's been one of the best experiences of my life. <laughs> I mean, has it? I mean, we were just made to dress up as a chicken. We were docked to disrespect and we've been bullied every single week. But yeah, no, sure. Best experience of my life. You're what some loser would create. In a video game. Oh, well, now that's not very nice. <laughs> He looks directly into the camera like, yeah, I'm talking to you, Diod. <laughs> he does a CM Punk. He's like, whoops, I'm breaking the fourth wall. <laughs> like Santino. I've got to say, I do love how Santino used to say his name around this time. Like, he pronounced it with such elegance, like Santino. Face me tonight for the Intercontinental title, and I will make you call me the daddy. <laughs> what? Yeah, hang on a second, Vince. I'm just drawing my little masterpiece here. And there we go. <laughs> he's like, oh, no, there's a fly in my face. Shoot. Somebody back there is about this close to getting fired. Realistically, how can you even see the drawing? Like, it's not as if we've got one of those laser pointers that everyone used to point at people. All the success WWE has. <laughs> and now we're messing with the voice change. Day by day, the heat increases, and once we meet, you will rest in pieces. Ooh, look at this. Santino is just too entertaining to confine to a road to WrestleMania. You have just unlocked a special pre-made story designer story starring him. Oh my. But I think SVR 2010 just gave me another video idea. I think we should play through all the pre-made story designers. But I don't want John Cena. So, you want to jump to SmackDown? Not a bad idea, but I'd rather take on you. Okay, so let me get this straight. We're sacrificing our world title opportunity to face Vince McMahon at WrestleMania. What? In that briefcase is a shot for every person's <clears throat> dream. A chance to beat up their boss. Okay, I understand why I'm in this match trying to get that opportunity, but why the hell did Jeff Hardy and Edge want to do come it? Come on, come on, I'm so close. No, Jeff is pushing over the ladder. Oh my god, the meter's still going down. I'm still holding on. Oh my god, Dante Inferno wins the briefcase. That was so fire. What? I've never seen that animation before. Or at least if I have, I completely forgot about it. Yo, that was sick. Like, no matter what, I was holding on to that briefcase with my life. I want to beat the hell out of this decrepit old man. Come on, Vince, get up here. We're going to do this table. Spot. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. I completely messed it up. Great. I'm going to see that on Promo Joe next week. Oh, okay. Thank you very much for that CTE, Vince. Screw you, Vince. Oh, here we go. This chucklehead again. Back at it. Santi. Oh, yeah. Let's go, Dante. Oh, no. Those two thugs are back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Cole, why are you calling Mark Henry a thug? I'm not gonna lie, a first person view or a first person mode in WWE 2K like 23 would be kind of fire. I probably wouldn't care about it that much, but at the same time, it'd be less useless than a big head mode. Oh, wait a second, what the hell are we doing here? Oh, <laughs> yeah, Vince McMahon, everybody. Uh, what's going on here? Oh, oh. <laughs> and we put him through the table. Sweet, sweet revenge as we killed the old man. All right, let's go ahead and spin that wheel once again. Who's it gonna be? Oh, the goat, aka A. It seems as if Miss McMahon has decided to give SmackDown a facelift and name a new general manager. A new general manager? Well, now hang on a second. Wait, I just realized this match is literally to decide who's going to become the new general manager. Come on, man. Nobody wants to see Triple H running the WWE. I mean, eh. That is a joke, of course. I am actually quite enjoying Triple H running the WWE. My being here involves the GM position, but I came to recommend someone else for the job. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It is time for me to do my thing again. Hello, Mr. McMahon. Who the hell is this? You'll find she's quite qualified to be SmackDown's new GM. Oh, yeah, we'll see about that, Maria. I'm praying on your downfall. I hope you get fired. Oh, what an old time great theme song. Biscuits and gravy made me a man. Oh, biscuits and gravy made me all that I am. Bonus unlock, Jesse. Jesse may not have his buddy Festus by his side anymore, but he's a great superstar in his own right. You have now unlocked him. Great. Just who I wanted, Jesse. <laughs> oh my, look at Edge spitting some W Riz, no doubt. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually working. Maria? Oh no. Don't. Oh my god, what is this guy doing here? A six foot five mutant growth sprouting from your neck. 
That thing is nasty. Oh my god, El Riz, you're fumbling in front of the bad b No one likes you. Don't even have to think about it. I want Jesse. I want to hear biscuits and gravy again. Whenever there's an option to pick Jesse in this road to WrestleMania, I'm picking him just because of the theme song. Unfortunately, Jesse, for as much as I do like your theme song and your little tag team, I'm kind of a just had to go ahead and job you out on SmackDown. It's nothing personal, brother. It's just the business. Cat's out of the bag about you and Maria. <sighs> this guy really is the lamest m on the entire roster. <laughs> we need numbers first. Who's running this ship anyway? <laughs> Look at who it is, the power couple. What are you waiting for, Edge? I bet we can all guess what number you have. Don't keep us in suspense here. Show us. Ah, uh, you know, I just don't know if I really want to turn it around in front of so many people. I'm, I'm a little nervous. I've got stage fright. I'll be seeing you in the rumble. You and your little girlfriend can count on it. Oh, come on, man. That was so unnecessary. You could have taken out an eye of mine with that. What have I done to deserve that? Name one bad thing I've done this entire road to WrestleMania. That's right, you can't. <laughs> and and uh, not Carlito. Primo, help me eliminate Kennedy. God damn. Okay, and then I turn on him instantly. Well, you know how it is, brother. The business is the business. Gotta do whatever it takes to get to the top, I guess. I gotta say, though, this is probably my favorite road to WrestleMania so far just because I'm really enjoying playing the bad guy. Like, it's just so much more fun being a uh, I don't know. What didn't surprise anyone was the big advantage Maria gave to her boy toy, Edge. Yeah, no one cares, buddy. They're booing you. We like Edge. And when you hang out with Edge, it's good to have plenty of soap on hand. Ah, an STD joke. Hilarious. <laughs> well, you know, if I wasn't playing the heel in this road to WrestleMania, I'd pick someone a little bit more fair. But since I am playing the heel, the opponent teammate can be Jesse because, well, he's a loser. But he has a good theme song. Were you thinking that we get out of here a little early? Head back to my place. You cook me some dinner. And we watch my best of DVD. <laughs> I used to have that one myself on DVD. It's actually pretty good. The whole decade of decadence thing. You get to pick your own opponent. Hmm. <laughs> I already know exactly who I'm going to pick. It's got to be Jesse again. Edge versus Michelle McCool. Rolling in the ring, exchanging holds and... What? <laughs> Why would he say that right there? Okay... Okay. <laughs> As if that worked. This man is a Riz God. Well, think about it this way, Jesse. At least you're being booked every single week, right? You know what? I'm sorry. I, I forgot what my spot is. Oh, no. I I've completely forgotten. Uh, <laughs> look at Edge's face. I'm sorry. I oh, my bad, guys. I forgot what the spot was going to be. Oh, here we go. <laughs> And there goes Maria. Oh, no. She is done. Oh, and here we go. We roll up Mr. Kennedy for the three count. More importantly, is Maria okay? Oh, yeah. I guess that kind of matters. I mean, I don't really care, but sure. And here we go. Oh, my God. That was a rough bump. What the hell? Wait a second. Why is this loading screen so low res? It was that Mr. Kennedy. When your back was turned... He attacked <laughs> Now we're just going to gaslight her as she's in the hospital. We are a terrible human being, but I got to love it. Fill in for you until you recover. <laughs> yeah, let someone else become general manager instead. <laughs> Coincidentally, he has all the papers at the bedside. Interesting. Oh my God, look at this. We got a GM office now. Oh yeah, th by the way, this road to WrestleMania kind of glossed over the fact that Mr. Kennedy was money in the bank. And then they were like, oh yeah, he cashed in. Uh, okay. And there we go. We drag Mr. Kennedy on top of Big Show. And you know, I'm just going to confuse them even more. A little fast count for you. That's right. You've always got to keep them guessing, you know? See, now this loading screen makes a lot more sense. Like, Edge is like, f*** off, referee. F*** off, doctor. In the Triple H one, I was not sure what was going on. I'll be honest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. This guy never stops. Got Eve Torres, who, by the way, was like my first crush, I think. And let me tell you something. You know, I could go on a tangent about 2010, 2011 Eve Torres. Oh, my God. When she started twerking and doing it into the moonsault. Oh, my God. 11 year old me lost his damn mind. I could not believe. <laughs> oh man, I gotta go on the network and watch that again for real. But uh, yeah, we've got Maurice and uh, Eve rubbing us up. I mean, honestly, I don't even want to press A. Just, just keep doing it, honestly. I <laughs> don't worry. The winner gets some one on one time with the boss. <laughs> Imagine if this is how I booked all of my GM series. Like, okay, ladies, you two are gonna fight, and the winner gets me. <laughs> <laughs> I get to choose my teammates again because I'm literally booking this show. So, uh, Undertaker and, uh, you know what? Kind of a wild card pick, but, uh, we haven't seen him in a little bit. So, CM Punk, why not? Who does Edge think he's impressing? I don't know, JR. I'm pretty impressed by his booking. He's one of the best general managers I've ever seen in SmackDown vs. Raw. I mean, goddammit, he's corrupt. He's unfaithful. He's a b****. 
to all the superstars. He's booking great matches. This is a man that I can respect as a general manager. But uh, it's just a GM to GM thing, so I won't expect you guys to understand. Oh, great. This jabroni is coming back to SmackDown. Yay. Here she comes again, like good medicine. Every step she takes. <laughs> what a bang. So I would have showed it more, too, if Edge hadn't attacked me after you went down. Uh, what? No, no, well, no, hang on a second. I, I don't know anything about that, Marie. He's lying. <laughs> and it pauses right on the kiss. Oh, my God. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. Honey, baby, listen, it's all lies. <laughs> Bro, we literally caught you in 4K. How did they catch you lacking in 4K? You're responsible for my fall. And you were triple timing me? Yeah, pretty brilliant, huh? You're going to face Undertaker. Okay, that's fine by me. Me and Undertaker are boys. Like, we were tag teaming together while you were... And his brother, Kane. Okay, I don't like Kane. <laughs> I burned him alive in the last one. Big Show through the table with a DDT. Yeah, how do you like them apples? Oh, boy, here comes Tweedledum and Tweedledee. You should have seen how snug it fit the way it hugged my hips and really pushed up my <laughs> look at kennedy's reaction yeah but realistically if i'm edging this situation i've already seen maria naked why do i care about whatever outfit she bought i've already seen everything i need to see with all due respect respectfully oh you you want me to get inside the steel cage nah i'm good <laughs> you think i'm going to jump in there for a meaningless brawl days before wrestlemania and risk injury think again losers <laughs> you're damn right edge work smarter not harder oh, sh here we go again. You can bet I'm going to keep a very close eye on the match. Oh, God. This screams a screw job. Get out. <laughs> Take a look at Edge, though. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. We are smoking on that Mr. Kennedy pack tonight, fellas. I got the girl. I got the power. And I got the WWE Championship. The rated R superstar. The smartest, most cunning man in WWE. I guess this is a lesson, kids. Even if you go ahead and cheat on your girlfriend and manipulate, lie, cheat, and steal your way to being GM and gaslight your girlfriend or your ex-girlfriend, you will still be able to be a WrestleMania main eventing WWE champion. <laughs> and the penultimate road to WrestleMania is gonna be Randall Randall Key. And now it is time for the three most devastating letters in sports and entertainment RKO. And and uh, Randy Orton is the world champion. Okay, we're off to a hot start. Let's win this one. Hell yeah, Cody. Adrenaline. And now Cody. Oh my god, a DDT. He actually beat Undertaker as well. I'm pushing Cody Rhodes myself this time. Could we be seeing the birth of a new alliance? God, it's like they so badly want to say legacy, but they're not saying it. Our general manager has just signed two blockbuster matches for the pay-per-view. Yeah, I just picked up on that, actually. The general manager in this one is actually kind of cooking. Maybe I'm the general manager this time. Whoa. Somebody's on edge. No, no, no. I'm not on edge anymore. That was in the last one, Cody. Easy mistake. We're all next generation superstars. <laughs> Cody's like, yeah, yeah, he's got a point. Big, scary Undertaker. <laughs> Why did he do that? Like he's a, that a zombie toy. You know what, Cody? Just because it's you that threw out the handshake, I'm going to say yes. However, in an alternate universe where Ted DiBiase says, do we have a deal? I hit him with an RKO in the middle of the locker room right there and there. Yeah, you know, here's a steel chair, Cody Rhodes. I don't know. I just feel like you're going to be a big star one day somewhere. <laughs> and for the second week in a row, Cody Rhodes has pinned the dead man. Yeah, but I'd be more impressed if he'd done it himself. What? So what are you talking about, Michael? Did you not watch last week? Did you not see? <laughs> Just an RKO to Undertaker. He's catching strays. Wait, the game literally isn't letting me get up right now. Am I doing the job? Oh, no, I'm not doing the job. <laughs> Look at Cody run off. There are many things people don't know about me, Randy. One of them is that I am a good brother. Uh, I don't know about that one, Kane. I'm going to have to check with uh, Brother Luke and Brother Carl and see if that's true. I don't like to point fingers. But Ted got pinned, not me. Oh, yeah, no, don't worry about it, Cody. I am so on your side. I hate that Ted DiBiase guy. I didn't even remember why I started hating Ted DiBiase. I think it was something to do with Cody Rhodes, but we're going to stick to the gimmick now. <laughs> and later, bit. Oh, come on. How did that not break the cage? <laughs> of course, a basic neck breaker does it, but the RKO didn't. You know what? For good measure. Just keep on making me proud, sir. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate you, Cowboy Bob Orton. Of course. You didn't have to babysit an inferior tag team partner against two angry bulls. Okay, first of all, Ted, if we're talking uh, babysitting an inferior tag team partner, Cody's talking about you, not the other way around. Now, I am the legend. I don't really have much to add to that one, but uh, yeah, fair enough, Randy. I would have done this last night, but out of respect for Undertaker, I didn't. But tonight... I'm cashing in my Money in the Bank briefcase. See, Matt, what you don't realize is uh, 
this isn't your road to WrestleMania, pal. So, uh, yeah, nothing personal. Yeah, that'll teach you, Matt Hardy, for thinking that you're Jeff Hardy. <laughs> I've walked into a bit of a legacy domestic right now. Some team, Randy. I can't tag out for a minute's rest without him looking up at the light. You know what, Cody? I've heard enough. You're right. He is useless. Let's kill him. But I need to know, which one of us is the better superstar? <laughs> Just what I was about to say, it's Cody Rhodes. We slap him in the face. Oh, come on. This makes no sense. Why are they turning on me? You're the new legend in WWE. Since that's the case, you can just consider us the new legend killers. Oh, God, I hate Ted DiBiase. I can't believe he's corrupted Cody Rhodes. God, I'm just, I'm angry. I need to take it out on someone. Yeah, that'll do it. Cody Rhodes earned himself the number one contender slot by defeating Shawn Michaels last week. <laughs> what? A monster, a monster. I've turned Cody into a monster. Dare I say it in Cody Rhodes? I've created a nightmare. You're not a champion. You're certainly not a legend. What you are, young man, is a disgrace. Uh, I don't really understand these options, but I'm just going to click talking. <laughs> okay, that'll do it. Oh my god, and now Cody's getting involved. And RKO. And you know what, Cody, f*** you too. You know what I really don't understand about this Road to WrestleMania? How the hell are they painting Randy Orton as the bad guy? <laughs> like, Cody Rhodes and Ted DiBiase, literally, like, I brought them in. I brought them up. We were a faction. They turned on me. They they see to eat my head with two steel chairs. And somehow, Dusty Rhodes is like, let me tell you something, Randy. You a disgrace, baby. The only time you ever got to this level was when you tried to buy it. Hold up, let him cook. Randy is after Ted DiBiase, who moments ago took the world heavyweight champ. 2007 teach you people not a damn thing. You're not up here anymore, are you? No, you're down here. <laughs> uh, not the best Cody Rhodes promo I've ever seen. Not, not enough pontificating for me. You know me. what? I quite like Dusty Rhodes. Even though like he came after us and I had to do the whole RKO on the outside of the ring thing. That was just business. I, I still love you, Dusty. However, you, Ted, you son of a... <laughs> I'm coming for you and your father. I can't believe this. A hostage situation on Raw. To be honest, still not the craziest thing I've ever seen on Monday Night Raw. <laughs> Just RKO him anyway. Oh boy, things are going from bad to worse for the old legacy boys. <laughs> and then I RKO him again anyway. He'll need all the momentum he can get in that triple threat. Uh oh, Randy, look You know what? That's honestly fair enough, Undertaker. I understand. Oh my god, what? <laughs> and look at Undertaker. This is hilarious. That man is conked out. He must have just had some Taco Bell. It'll be a Legends Lumberjack match. A Legends Lumberjack match? What was he cooking? I've never doubted your skill. I mean, you kind of did, but okay. But I still have a little fight in me. And I think I owe you a little something. Oh, God. How many times do we got to tell you, old man? Keep my Cody's name out your f***. Mouth. You're one hell of a champion, kid. Oh, please don't shake his hand. Yeah! After months of preying on the downfall of the DBOCs, I won. Well, here we go. Final road to WrestleMania. None other than Mickey James. Hey, Mickey, you're so fine. You're so fine. You blow my mind. Hey, Mickey. It's about the eye candy. We know that's all the divas are good for. Right? <laughs> you can't say that. Are you trying to get cancelled? Candice Michelle. Candice Michelle? Is she even in this game? Oh, all right. Okay. <laughs> okay. WWE divas are not just pretty faces and sexy bodies, Miz. Oh, boy. Miz is about to get cooked. We compete as hard in the ring as the guys do, and we deserve respect. Oh, boy. Miz, you done f***ed up now. <laughs> the Miz checking out Maurice. You were so great in our match last week. It was just really inspiring. Just awesome. Oh, God, it's coming back to me what this road to WrestleMania was. Basically, Mickey James and Natalia have the same relationship as Trish Stratus and Mickey James back in like 06. That's the gist. Oh, God, I was happy Mickey James was women's champion until I saw Natalia. <laughs> and this is actually one of the parts of uh, this road to WrestleMania I do very much remember the Diva Rumble. Oh, wait a second. Beth Phoenix eliminating herself and Natalia. Okay, so let me get this straight. Uh, oh, my God, what is she doing here? <laughs> Leave me alone, Natalia. I don't like you. Oh my god. Get off of me, you freak. Edge was the victor. This well game actually predicted quite a lot, I'm now realizing. Like, if we look back at these Road to WrestleManias alone, they predicted that Edge would win the Royal Rumble a few months after this game released. And they predicted Edge's return winning the Royal Rumble, in fact. They also predicted Shawn Michaels literally retiring. That entire Road to WrestleMania was about Shawn retiring. He would retire a couple months later. And they also predicted, what, like eight years ahead of time, the Women's Royal Rumble match? But getting back to my gripe about that Divas Rumble, Mickey J 
James is the women's champion. Why would she win the Royal Rumble? I mean, I'm just saying, if I was the general manager of this one, that's not how I would have done things. But I'll let you cook. Is there a problem here? Oh, God. Why is this guy trying to be a white knight? You're looking good, by the way. <laughs> oh, my God. How embarrassing. You know, like, the entire joke about nice guys online and stuff and, like, in the dating world? That is literally what Brian Kendrick is doing. Even though I gave you a tiny bit of help, you were just incredible. I really hope we can team up sometime so I can learn more from being in the ring with you. <sighs> How about we grab some salad and pasta after tonight's show? Oh my god, if it gives me the choice to friend zone Brian Kendrick, I'm literally getting a SmackDown vs. Raw 2010 tattoo. I don't care. I don't know out of him and Natalia, who I hate more. Honestly, I hate them both. It looks like I have a date tonight. Oh, okay, never mind. I, I guess we're going on a date with this jabroni. And I need to find a partner who isn't afraid of a fight. Oh, Mickey, I'll do it. Remember how I wanted a team with you? <sighs> Where is the option to block her number? We literally just spoke to you. Leave me alone. I know we're both pretty busy, but I'd really like to do it again sometime. Oh my god, it gets even worse. Hey, maybe if you dressed like me, you'd be a better commentator. <laughs> hey girl, phone tag. What do you mean, phone tag? This guy's the corniest m of all time. Hey! <laughs> hey, that wasn't even an option for me to like custom the match of the account up, but I'm glad it happened that way. Oh my god, it's the infamous screenshot. We're going to have a match at No Way Out. Mickey James and the Brian Kendrick versus Regal and Beth Phoenix in a winner take all match. Okay, completely disregarding everything he just said or whatever, uh, Shane McMahon looks really good in this game. I'm just a phone call away. <sighs> She just doesn't know how to take a hint, does she? God, not more of this. Can we not film this? Oh, it gets worse. Oh, God, I've got to pick between them. Can I turn on them both? I guess I'll go with Brian Kendrick because Natalia is just... Well, she's Natalia, so... <laughs> okay, so I guess we got a little love note from Brian Kendrick. I'm not even going to read this. If you want to pause the video and read it, you can. I don't know. It's just some corny bull**t. I don't care. Seriously, Mickey. I didn't send you any flowers. Ooh, the plot thickens. A damage on an opponent. Okay, how the hell are you going to have a fatal four-way with rope breaks and disqualification? That's not how things work. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. Kendrick thinks Mickey was the one who hit him with that chair. See, this is what I never understood about WWE. Like, in those moments, wouldn't you just go to the back, like, take a second, let me watch the, you know, the raw replay or the raw rewind or whatever the hell the gimmick was. We go ahead and see, oh, did this person hit me with a chair? Oh no, it was a misunderstanding. I didn't see the referee was in the way. Okay, let's be friends again. Is she going out to romantic Italian restaurants with me? No. When she receives flowers, does she think for a second that they could be from me? No. Oh, I get it now. This entire story was Natalia's bisexual awakening. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to let it, uh, yeah, just hold the hook for a second awkwardly. Keep the cameras. And yeah, let me go ahead and slap her in the face. How dare you? <laughs> it's all breaking down now. He did it. She basically beat her evil twin tonight. Yeah, I guess that's one way to put it. Yeah, here we go. Take that, Natty. That's what you get for being a psycho. In conclusion, SmackDown vs. Raw 2011 is still clear.